Hi! It's been a while... wait, has it? I don't know, it feels like it's been a while anyway since I've last filmed. I have been sucked into the world of Instagram Reels right now and I kind of like it. And I've just been over there a lot more. So, hi again. So, for today's video I thought we'd just <laughs> do a very simple laid back video, but it's always videos that you guys seem to enjoy. So we're gonna do a get ready with me, even though I've I've just come back home and I'm not going anywhere, but we're still just gonna do a get ready with me. And I thought I would just do, cause wait, is it like the end of the month? No, it's the start of another month. Um, I didn't do like a favorites video for last month. Um, so I thought I'd do like a get ready with me, like we can just chat and just do my makeup, do like an everyday kind of makeup vibe with all my current favourite products, like stuff that I've been testing out for the past like couple months maybe and that I just really really like. So subscribe if you want and we'll just get going. Okay so my skincare is all done, I did that before I went out because I think obviously SPF had to be on and everything so my skincare is all done. And, oh wait, I forgot. Grab your beverage. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've got green tea right now. I actually kind of like herbal tea at the moment, which, wait, should I have taken this out? It smells very strong, oh well. I haven't actually tried it, I got a new one today. That's good. Okay, anyway, I've got green tea, so grab your beverage. Uh, I'm on my period, so I, I should not be having I like mentally ban myself from having my iced drinks, like especially when you're on your period, like that's not good. It's really bad for you apparently, so. So skincare's all done. Should I zoom in a bit more? Do we need, I don't know. Is that a bit better? So, should I do eyes? Well, I'm using a new palette actually, but I kind of want to do a full dedicated video to this. So we're going to breeze through that just in a little bit. I stopped buying palettes, but when I saw this, I was like, come on, I need that. Now I'm stopping from buying palettes. So I tell myself. So I'm just gonna do something simple for today and then maybe in the next video I'll do something crazy. So I'm just gonna start off with the face. I'm using the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I've been really liking this, especially for my dark, dull face, right? Like my under eyes and just, just the whole vibe of my face is just very dark these days. I just ate pizza and I can't remember if I washed my hands after. So I may be putting pizza grease onto my face. I'm kind of okay with that. I shouldn't be actually, that's disgusting. But this came in like a little set. It gives like a really nice glow. I already had a glow already because of like my skincare, but it brightens your face a little bit. Okay, wait, let me start blending out the face and then we can chat. So I've, I've been obsessed with this. It's the Tinted Face Oil from Kosas. Kosas, I don't know how you pronounce it. I love it, my skin loves it, it's an oil, it's tinted, it gives you a nice glow, it hydrates you, it's just everything my skin needs and I love it. I feel like it's been like a while since I've like filmed a video, I haven't been on here, like I feel like I had like a good routine down and I was like every Tuesday, Friday I was here giving you content and then the past like few weeks I've just been like a bit drained and like this is gonna this is what I'm just gonna have to get used to with like my health at the moment I'm gonna be very drained randomly and just to be fair I've actually been quite busy um one of my cousins got married recently which was so frightening for my soul because she's like my age and it's it just scared me no like I'm really happy for her for them both but like I also just got very frightened because I was like oh my god 22 is like, like if that was me, I'd be like running away last minute, me. But you know what, she didn't and I'm proud of her. So that was just like very tiring cause like I hadn't been to like an event or anything like since like my health just, you know, went down the toilet. So that, it just took a lot out of me just kind of going to something like that. And just, it was really nice though. It felt great. I just, I'm just really tired. I feel like I'm still recovering from it. I'm just really tired at the moment. Uh, medication wise we've changed a little bit and I start like my new treatment on Monday on like the 12th I'm hoping that this video goes up before then <laughs> who knows with me these days so I've got my new treatment which I have to go into hospital for unfortunately um, so that's gonna be like a regular-ish thing so I've just been dealing with that because uh, thinking about hospital right now and me going back in there no no we don't want that Okay, just a quick pause. 
look how nice my skin is look at that glow i honestly love this so much it is this is like a really good summer product i feel yeah i just feel like i didn't have time to be fair i was gonna film like a get ready with me like as i like while i did my makeup for my cousin's wedding because it actually wait what did i do for my makeup i think it's just did like a gold i just did like my normal gold bronzy smoky eye look and everything with like a lot of my favorite stuff and you know what my makeup held up so well so I was actually going to film a get ready with me, but then I just started watching TV while I was getting ready and just forgot to film it, so oh well. So I've been busy with that, a bridal shower, all that kind of stuff, all my medical issues and stuff. I've just been feeling a bit like shit at the moment, so that's why I haven't been here. But you know what, I've been doing Instagram reels every now and then. They're just so much easier to do, like just on your phone, and like they're very quick as well to do, so... Uh, yeah, I've been doing a couple of those, so if you aren't following me on Instagram, come say hi because I'm probably going to be a bit more active on that. Obviously, I'm still going to be on here, obviously. And you know what? I did the thing that I promised my soul that I would never do, and I made a TikTok account. It, it pains me to even say it. Like, it pains me to even just think of the fact that I have a TikTok account now. I'll put it on the screen. I can't even remember what my username is. I, I've literally just made it like a couple of days ago. I have I put like two on there so far. They're just makeup ones, obviously. Because the whole app just makes me cringe and I just, I really don't like it. But at the same time, I feel like I've been peer pressured to just create an account. So that's what I've done now. So you're welcome, guys. I've finally done it. I don't understand the app. I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how you do it. So if you want to come say hi over there as well, I'll put my TikTok on the screen. I'll put it in the description. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere. Um, but yeah, mainly Instagram. That's what I'm most active on. And I've, I'm going to be like, I like test more makeup and stuff in the reels and stuff like that. Well, that's what I'm like planning on doing anyway. So if you just want to see more of my face, then Instagram is probably the best place to be. But I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. See, this is how you know it's been a while since I filmed. I'm, to be, I'm saying it like it's been months. It's been like a week or something, I swear. I'm using the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I feel like I've been stuck using the Jouer one for like too long now and I just need to stop using that. Well, not stop using it, but like use something different, but... I don't know, the Jouer one, it's what I've noticed since I've been stopped using foundations and since I've kind of gone to the tinted moisturizers and tinted oils and this kind of vibe, it's made more sense to me that like my concealers, I get less coverage from them because when, well, or when I used to blend out my foundation, I'd blend it kind of under my eyes a little bit. So I'd get a bit of coverage from the foundation, but then when I put the concealer on, it'd give me even more coverage. So I've noticed my lighter coverage concealers now, when they go over this, it doesn't really cover up my dark circles, so. I don't know. I was thinking about getting like one of those, um, what are they called? Like the color correctors, like the peach one is supposed to be good for dark circles. Does that actually help conceal or does it just kind of, but wait, no, cause it's not gonna brighten them. I don't know, someone help me. Like what do color correctors do? I mean, I could probably Google it, but like someone tell me, like what do they do? This tea is really nice. Really nice. It's highly recommend if you like green tea. It's the Twinings Matcha Green Tea, but it's got cranberry and lime like flavor in it. It's pretty good. Okay, I hate that this has made it into one of my favorites because it's so expensive. But the Hourglass Veil Powder, since I've come home, since my skin has gone Sahara Desert dry, as I mentioned in every single video. Uh, the hourglass powder has been my go-to it's just it just makes you look flawless and doesn't make you look cakey it doesn't dry out your skin none of that and it just I just love it so much so yeah I feel like I had more to talk about I feel like it's mainly just that just the fact that like I just haven't felt like filming it I just haven't felt like talking to people like I just I mean then again this isn't talking to people <laughs> this is well it kind of is I've just been very unsociable Minus the events, obviously, that I've been going to. That doesn't count because it was like my cousins are like, I, I, I'll see them anytime. If I'm in an unsociable mood, they're people that like I'll see anyway, like I just love them. So that's fine. I don't include them, but just I just don't want to talk to anyone else. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I'm just not feeling it. Should we do the eyes next? I feel like I should do a little something with the eyes. Um, I know this is like my favorites, but I haven't really got like an eyeshadow palette apart from 
you can only see like a little bit of it but the I don't want to keep using it because I literally use it every single day but it's my most used palette like it's so it's a lot of bias from me but the Mandalorian palette is honestly like I use it all the time just like the this one and this one is like my everyday eye look so but I know this is a new palette I don't have anything else Shall I do a halo eye? I feel like I haven't done a halo eye in a while. Let's, let's do that. Take the, oh my God, I haven't talked through an eyeshadow look in a while. We're gonna go with the yellow. Uh, what else is new? What else can I just talk to you about? I feel like TV shows is something that I just always end up talking about. I don't know why. I've been watching Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I don't know why I've never watched it properly before. Like I love that kind of supernatural fantasy shit so like I love Buffy and I know I always would have loved it I've watched like a few uh, random episodes over the years I started watching that because it's on that uh what's it called the star or like whatever it is on Disney and oh my god I love it I absolutely love it and I'm here for it I love how old it is it's literally from the year before I was born it was from like 97 so like all the fashion is all the fashion that I love like just old like 90s vibes is literally like that's the fashion that I love and I feel like I still kind of live in that fashion time mentally and physically probably. Video ideas as well. I've still got like a bunch of video ideas. I just haven't got around to filming them. I feel like I'm going to do like another spring. I want to do like another. Do you remember when I did that get ready with me in my back garden? I want to do that again because that was so fun. But I feel like I need to do it like when it's like really warm because I feel like it was kind of windy that day when like, I literally remember filming that. I was like going to work. <laughs> that was such a funny video. That was a fun video. I'm going to leave that like the link to that video like in my description box because if you haven't seen it, it was a fun video. Okay, I loved filming that. Um, so definitely go watch that. I feel like I want to do that again. I know I've had people want me to do my nighttime skincare routine, which I'm going to do. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> this yellow is very pigmented. I'm very impressed. Tuscan Fun, the nice brown. I think I was supposed to take this tea bag out, it's gotten pretty strong. Would this be gross if I just threw this in my bin right now? I don't care, I did it. I'm gonna do easy peasy now, I think just in the center of the lid, just this one. Can you even see that? I feel like you can't, but it's fine. For like shimmery shades and it's, ooh. Yep, yep, yep. It's a bit duochrome as well. It's like greeny, browny, yellowy gold. I'm gonna take, what shall I take? The Grotto, which is the red. I didn't get an eyeliner out, do I need one? I think I'm not actually gonna do any liner on the top. I feel like it's just a nice little natural kind of vibe for today. I have like three favorites of blush at the moment. So we have this one first, which is the cutest thing ever. So this is a new brand that came onto Beauty Bay. Saw it on the What's New section because that's just my pastime. It's from the brand Soda Makeup and this is their uh, Lip and Cheek Gel Blush. And I haven't used it on the lips actually, it's very pink, but for a blush, this is so nice and it really is like a gel consistency. It gives you such, it gives you this kind of effect, like how my tinted face oil looks. It just kind of looks like that with a bit of this color. So this has been really, really nice. And also the cutest thing, they give you stickers. I have one of their bronzers as well. Um, it's just like a really tiny little bronzer and it's so cute. They give you these little stickers and you can like decorate the product. So I've just like DIY'd it and put the stickers all over the lid and I love that. So I love the whole vibe with this brand. I don't think everything's vegan. They are cruelty free, but I don't think, like I don't think the lip products are vegan or are they? No, I don't think the lip products are vegan, but the blushes and the bronzers are, so that's what I've got. Then the Colourpop Cheek Do Serum Blushes. These are really nice. I've only got one because I just wanted to test them. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them. This is such a really nice colour. Did that make sense? This is such a nice colour is what I meant to say. And it's just a really nice brownie nude. And I feel like I didn't, I don't really have this colour in a liquid blush, so I'm glad that I got it. So I love that and I love the consistency. 
I think I might, oh, we've got a rainbow on the face. Um, you know what, I think I will. I'm gonna use the Colourpop blush, and then my other favorite is the Plutty Blushes from e.l.f. These are so good. So with these Colourpop cheek things, they are very, very, very sheer. Like, I'm just gonna put, like, I usually just do that and then just like start blending it out because they are very 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 sheer like you'll see like look it kind of blends into nothing but gives you the nicest like barely the glow like can you see that like it's just barely there barely 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 there but it just it melts into your skin really nicely and I actually really prefer that like I'd rather it just kind of have to be built up like you can see it there but like I prefer the kind of subtle vibe than just, you know, being too pigmented and then you crap yourself because you're like, well shit, is this going to blend out or not? Kind of like the Barry M ones, you know, that just took off all my makeup. I still haven't tried those again, by the way. <laughs> I'm too scared to try them. I don't want to ruin my makeup. I haven't even finished the rest of my eyes. What am I doing? Oh, wait, I can use this. I've also been really loving these. I just forgot because they were in like my drawer. I should have looked in this because this is like my everyday kind of draw. This is from the Elf's um, Mint collection. This is in the shade Melt With Me. It's the No Budge Eyeshadow Stick. I'm just going to use this as kind of like a liner. I just like the whole idea of them just being like this, like a little stick pen. And I feel like so many brands, like high-end brands do these kind of things and they're, they're so overpriced. Like if you're spending like over £10 for one of these things, Rethink about what you're doing because these ones are so good and I think they're like five, I want to say five pound. Okay, so mascara, I really like this new mascara that I tried from The Body Shop. I've been using it a lot. I feel like it's really nice everyday mascara. It's the Happy Go Lash Mascara, I'd say. It does kind of build up to like a medium, but like I wouldn't wear it for like an intense eye look. It, it volumizes your lashes a lot, but it does also give you... Um, some volume as well which is what I like. Okay so that's the mascara on that's what my lashes look like. I love it, I love it, I love it. Really really nice. So for bronzer I love this so much and it's so affordable. It's from Essence and it's the Hello Good Stuff Matte and Glow Bronzer and it's got kind of like a glowy, it's not glittery which is good, it's just it has a sheen, there's no glitter in there thank god. And then it has like a darker matte kind of colour. I think this is the one of the lighter shades. I think they do a few different ones. And I love this so much. The formula is so, so good. This like Hello Good Stuff range is like really good. Um, what else have I been watching on TV? I feel like this is the only other thing to discuss, like TV shows. Um, oh, I'm just mixing the two kind of together like that. Um, oh my god, Superstore. Oh my god, I will never stop talking about this show. Okay, if you've never seen it, it's on Netflix. It's called Superstore, it's bought an American retail store and it is one of the best shows I've ever seen. It is so relatable for me, like anybody that works in retail, even if you don't, like it's just so funny. Uh, oh my god, just all the customer things that happen and just how you act like with your colleagues and stuff. It's just so good and it's so relatable. Kind of makes me miss work a little bit, but like it's such a good show. I've literally watched all of it that's on Netflix. And I'm re-watching it again and I'm on like season two already. It's just very easy to watch. It's very easy to binge watch as well. So it's kind of dangerous in that sense. And all the characters are just so good. Like, you know, usually in TV shows, there's like some really annoying characters that you just kind of hate, but you still watch it because the show's kind of good. Um, like usually it's like the main characters, you know? I feel like the main characters in TV shows were just kind of made to kind of hate them a little bit. like. Let me think of some examples. Vampire Diaries, nobody really likes Elena. Like in the Harry Potter movies, nobody really likes Harry. It's not like that because I love the main characters and I love everyone else. Like it's just such a good show. I like how my makeup's looking. This is very, very summer right now. Okay, um, oh, setting spray, the e.l.f. Micro Fine Setting Mist is like the one. I really, really love this. I think it's really good. I've been using it since I bought it and I'm obsessed with that. I'm not gonna spray it right now because my tea's here and then it's gonna go in it and it's just gonna be a whole thing. But I lo do love that mist. I've used it in a testing video. We love that. Okay, and I think we've just got lips to do now and then that's that's it. I'm from e.l.f. I feel like I've got a lot of e.l.f. in here but they've been killing it with the new stuff. So this is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine and this one is Blissful. 
think it does smell like watermelon. I think that's what it smells like. Or like watermelon scented things, because I don't think watermelon actually has a scent. So I hate the smell of it. Uh, we're done. So, I think we're done here. What do we think of the eye look? Do we like, can you see it properly? I really hope you can. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna use this palette properly in a full on tutorial. I'm gonna do, I don't know what. I kinda wanna play around with the blue. The blue looks like fun, so. I'm gonna use this probably in my next video to get a good testing out of it, but as a first impression, really nice, and I love the eye look that I did. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I probably won't post another video for a, well I don't know actually, it's a bit hard because this is gonna be my last video before I start my new treatment and stuff, so I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling, so. At least I have this video for a while to enjoy, so thank you for watching. Well this is great, great intro, thank you. So now, okay now I've learned not to film at this time. Okay, oh my god, my outro was gonna have to be here. Okay, I'm literally blind right now, so thank you for watching the video. I hope, oh my god, really? I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm blind now, so see you soon, hopefully.